Hello friends, welcome back to Waste Student Blog. In this video, we will be looking at uh, installing uh, App Volume uh, Manager. So, so we are also looking at uh, from where we need to download this uh, uh, like uh, installer. So, so it the, like uh, if you see here, uh, we have uh, two links available where uh, if you are going for a 30 days trial version, you need to download the uh, ISO from this. Uh, URL and if you already have a uh, if you already purchased a license then you can download it from the URL I can post it in my uh, description uh, after this video but uh, yeah for now like uh, these are the links available and uh, like if you see here uh, when you log into your portal you will be able to see a download option uh, for the if you search for app volume uh, it will be listing the uh, all the select all the available versions and you need to select the version and you need to select the you need to select the download and you need to download the license as well as I ISO uh, the ISO which contains uh, uh, app volume agent app volume manager as well as app volume tools uh, so once you download the ISO like uh, you can start installation so yeah we are using uh, app volume 4.4.4 so let's go to a lab and uh, just start the installation process so here yeah so i already downloaded the installer from the uh, vmware site if you see here already the mm, the agent manager tools are in a different folders but when you run the setup it will make life more easy uh, whatever you want you can select and you can install if you see here this is the volume app volume 4 version 2103 that is 4.4.4 .4 .4 just accept the agreement and click next select whatever you want to install for now uh, i'm going for uh, app volumes manager so click next and uh, by the way i'm using windows 2019 data center evolution copy with uh, two cpu 4gb memory and a static ip and this this server is already added to my domain controller uh, added to the domain and uh, it's ready to use so click next so here uh, you uh, you need to choose a database where uh, if you if it is in production you need to have an uh, external database uh, uh, like any, any SQL or any other and uh, that, that should be configured before you go to this step you need to create the database instance and uh, keep it ready so mm, if, if uh, like uh, you need to have the database uh, username and password already keep it ready and uh, uh, if it is in lab, then obviously we can go for SQL Server Express Edition. So it is already integrated with this uh, ISO where uh, if you go to the manager, it will be available here. So uh, just for uh, uh, just for uh, uh, KT, I'm sharing this. So this is the installer available and uh, some scripts and uh, ms odbc sql everything is available here so this will pull from that uh, available uh, available available packages and uh, it will start initiating the sql express uh, database uh, server installation on this server so we'll wait for it and once it is done then we'll proceed so i will pause the video i don't want to waste your time just pause the video for now so SQL uh, Express is installed and we are using a Windows integrated authentication we'll leave it as it is and we'll select uh, overwrite existing database if any and click next <laughs> So we have removed that to bypass the error. So now, uh, if you see here, uh, uh, like uh, we need to choose the network ports and security options. So here we'll be using HTTP port 80 and uh, HTTPS 443, and uh, we'll click next to proceed further. So 
so so custom is set up like uh, yeah we'll be selecting the give me app volume manager and uh, our location will be default click next and install So if it is in production, we need to fix the uh, certificate error which we got for SQL. So here, yeah, that's fine to ignore it. I will pass the video for now, and once it is done, we'll we'll resume the video. Okay, installation is completed, and uh, click finish to complete the installation so we have done this video and uh, in our next video we will be looking at uh, configuring the uh, app volumes manager so how to configure the like how to add the domain controller how to add the vCenter to the like vCenter options to the app volume manager settings so thanks for watching and uh, we will meet in our next video thank you